Hey again, this is Bill Barbin with Keller Williams Lakes and Mountains Real Estate. I am here in downtown North Conway at Schuler Park on a beautiful June evening. And I wanted to reach out, let you guys know a few things about great places to take your dogs for a swim. All right, now you get parks and we get places that you can take your dog for a walk. That's pretty easy. Maybe I'll touch upon other subjects uh, in a future video, but right now, it's often a question I hear is like, what's a great place to take the dog for a swim? Well, first of all, you know, many of the places I'm going to mention are going to be river type spots because there's much more river in the North Conway area, Conway area, than there is any type of lake. So having said that, I'm going to list off a couple right down Freiburg off of Route 302, uh, River Street in Freiburg, heading back towards East Conway, you'll find Weston's Beach. These are things that if you Google, you will easily find them. Uh, Weston's Beach in Freiburg, Maine. That's a big sandy spot on the Saco River. It's very dog friendly. Uh, there's some woods up in and around there. And keep in mind, any place that you take your dog, please clean up after your pet. It's very important. Our valley you know, has a high impact on people with dogs like ourselves, like you guys. And so just please pick up dog poop. So now let's move on to Conway. A great spot in Conway is behind the police station on Route 302. So on Route 302, you will find uh, East Conway Road heading out towards the dump. And then there's Meeting House Hill Road, which is the street that goes down behind the police station to a canoe launch. Now, just to the side of the canoe launch, there's a great sandbar. It's an excellent place to take the dog and the family, get the dog in the water. There's a good deep hole there, too. It's good fun. And there's some sandy areas for the dogs that don't want that type of depth. Now, if you actually, from that parking area, head upriver, there's a bridge, a footbridge, that will then take you on a trail that goes along the river. And it's about a quarter mile, you get to a sandy spot under the U.S. Route 302 bridge. That spot is a great spot there. And if you keep going upriver from there, you'll actually come to a couple ledgy spots that you might want to bring your own bathing suit for those spots. So that kind of covers uh, my Freiburg and East Conway to the Conway Redstone, Center Conway area. Another great spot is right over here on the Swift River, the Kangamangas Highway. Everybody knows about it. Uh, it's a great place to drive, but there's dozens and dozens of spots that you can stop and get the dog out without swimmers around, without bothering other people. Uh, there's also a sense of being able to do both at the same time out there. I mean, people and dogs can, can coexist. Uh, but just, I mean, it only takes about a two mile drive out of town from Route 16 to get to where you could easily pull in and find any of a number of spots that are great for taking the dog out for a swim. Uh, so I'll even back up before that a little bit because there's the Saco River Ranger Station and there's some parking there and if you follow that uh, that road that goes out of the back of the parking lot there's a dirt road that then takes you down to the uh, near the railroad bridge along the Swift River. <coughs> there's some great spots along there you can get a straight in on the trail and you can take a left and get some shaded river spots you can take the right head towards the railroad bridge and get some uh, rocky sandy shoreline uh, swimming spots but that's some great thoughts on where to swim down at that end of town now when you get up to north conway and bartlett uh, it, it kind of gets a little tighter but at the same time opens up in north conway you have first bridge on river road which is between West Side Road and Route 16, 302, as they come through town at the Eastern Slope End, River Road connects the two. You have First Bridge going over the Saco River. That's a spot that on the North Conway Village side of the bridge, you have a lot of swimming. If you are to the, to the left side of the bridge coming in from North Conway, there's a great trail. And that great trail goes in along the river and from the bridge onward you can find all sorts of spots where you can privately swim your dog in the river. Uh, however, if you don't want to get that far from the car, if you just go over the river and on the right and left there's parking for uh, the canoe launch, 
and the canoe services. You can park in there and just follow the trail right back down next to the bridge and you're on the far side from where all the people swim and you can get your dog in and out of the water there. And even that field is a wonderful field to walk the dog. So that's Hussey's Field and there's a trail that goes out along the wood side, goes along the back edge of it and then back down along the Saco River. And there's a number of spots where you get the dog in to swim along there. So that's very easy access, very easy to get to. Um, again, please clean up after your pets. Another spot, if you just keep heading out River Road, you actually join up with West Side Road as it, Road as it heads into Bartlett. Where you can actually, uh, you cross over into Bartlett and you're on Upper West Side Road and it takes you to Diana's Baths. Diana's Baths is super popular. It's a, in the summertime, it's a tough spot because of all the parking and the number of people. Really be cautious about taking your dog there just because of the number of people that you'd have to interact with. If you do head out a little bit further along that road, you'll actually see some parking spots at Sandy uh, shoulder to the left of the road. That's an excellent spot. Be very careful, but you cross over the road and you go down in there and there's a lot of open sandy beach. You can actually cross the river onto Sandy Beach. And that's something to really think about. And, it, and while I'm talking about the Sandy Beach thing, um, and I have to say, even watching my own video over my shoulder, watching the clouds come in over the Moat Mountains right here, it's the North Conway Country Club off behind me, um, that's kind of fun to see. So anyhow, back to a Sandy Beach. When I was mentioning the Kangamagus Highway, those are rocky places to get in. If you go all the way out to Bear Notch Road, and you take a right onto Bear Notch Road as if you're going to cross over into Bartlett. Uh, you will cross over a bridge for the Swift River, and that will take you down to some sand. There's a couple trails there that will take you down to Sandy Beach Front. Um, and, and you can also go in through Jigger Johnson Campground for that same sort of effect. So back to here. Diana's Bass, it is dog friendly, but it's almost too occupied by people, and you want to be cautious. If you go out just a little further on that road, you're going to find another mile or two out. Parking that takes you down to the river. You can see the river off the right side. That's a great spot. And then to kind of round out a Bartlett loop in my head, I'll tell you about the little parking spot across from um, Adatash Mountain. Actually, from, across from the entrance to Bear Peak at Adatash, you will see a little parking area and a sign for the parking and for the uh, trail around the pond in there. Just past the pond, you follow the trail in further, and that'll take you into some of the upper reaches of the Saco River. And that's a great spot to take the dogs from it. So I think in, in total, I've covered five or six, five or, or six wonderful spots to take the dog for a swim when you're in the North Conway area. I wish there were more ponds to list, but there really just aren't. I hope you find this helpful. If I can help you in the future, or your friends or family, with any of their property needs up here in the North Conway, White Mountains of New Hampshire and Maine area, please give me a call. Bill Barbin, 603-986-0385. And I'm with Keller Williams, Lakes and Mountains Real Estate. Thank you.